Hi, this is Trey Passer. This is going to be my fourth video diary for the Mets, New York Mets playoff run, uh, 2015 playoff run. Okay, we have a 2-1 to one lead. Uh, Harvey didn't have the greatest game, he, but he gutted it out for five innings. And now we have Mats going tonight, and I have a good feeling about Mats. Uh, he hasn't pitched in a while because, you know, a little back soreness thing, but I think he's going to pitch good, and he's pitched in playoff games in the minor, in the lower levels, so he's used to p pitching in a in a, in a, you know, in a meaningful game. So I think he'll give us, I think he can give us six, seven good innings against Kershaw. Like I said, Kershaw, he's going on three days rest and he's motivated, you know, because he has to, you know, want to keep the Dodgers alive. So I think we have to just pick our spots and, you know, like I said, see if we can get that pitch count up. Uh, but, you know, this is do or die for the Dodgers. So Manly might leave him in, you know, even if he goes up, up a certain level. It depends, I guess, on the score because he then, you know, he went, you know, like I said, it's going to be all hands on deck because, they, you know, there's elimination. Basically, it's an elimination game for them. So they have to throw in all the thing they got. But I like, we had the same lineup as the last night. And Darnell was starting to hit, which is great. He had three hits. And Cespedes hit last night, which was great. And Dranison was really the MVP of last night. And hopefully, like I said, uh, David Wright and Douglas Studa will, will hit tonight. You know, Lucas had four Ks yesterday. So hopefully, besides the one hit, but hopefully he can snap out of it tonight. I would love for him to snap out of it. <laughs> Have one of those games where he hits two home runs and stuff, and hopefully Wright can start shooting the ball to left field, stop pulling so much. David, start you know going towards right field. That's where your strength is. I think you could you could do some damage against Kershaw if you go that way instead of trying to pull everything. Okay, and don't chase. Let him throw that jump outside all you want to. Don't chase. Like I said, take pitches if you have to. Don't chase his jump outside. But that's what he's going to do to try to you know throw inside and throw the jump on the outside. Don't fall for it. Okay. Exactly. Make him come in. Make him come to you. Or if he throws it outside, go with the pitch. Don't try to pull it. Okay. So, uh, you know, I hope they can wrap it up tonight. So that way, they don't have to go back to Los Angeles. And then, you know, just tomorrow's a travel day, I guess. And then, well, tonight maybe. Well, probably tomorrow travel day. And then play a game against Granky on on Thursday. So hopefully they can wrap it up tonight. I gotta look. I think the Cubs were winning the last time I checked, but. Hopefully, if the Mets can wrap it up tonight, which would be great, and then Saturday it would be the first game in the National League Championship Series on Saturday at City Field. So let's go Mets, and I'll see you again, at, at, same as usual, at the bottom of the second inning, after the second bottom of the second inning is over, and let you know what's happening, okay? So see you soon. Okay, uh, bottom of the second just ended. Uh, Kershaw struck out two people. Uh, struck out Duda and uh, Wilma Flores looking. Looks like he's on top of his game. But what uh, Stephen Matz is matching him, I think. He's pitching consistently. He only, I think he walked one person. Okay, but he's been consistent and stuff, I think. So far, so good. Look, this is going to be a pitcher's duel. So far, so sure. So hopefully, the Mets can scratch out a run. Or They've been taking a lot of pitches. So, uh, like I said, it doesn't matter. It's a must win for. So they don't have to worry about running up the pitch count on Clayton Kershaw because this is like door die for the Dodgers. So apparently you might even let him pitch 150 pitches if he gives them in the game. So Mets got to scratch out a run. Okay. I wouldn't mind it what's Kurt, you know, Curtis laid out a bunt. That, that would probably shock the whole crowd. If he's just laid out a bunt down the third baseline. Just push a bunt down that way. Just to get on base, because it looks like the runs are going to be a premium in this game. Look like this is going to be a premium uh, pitcher's duel. And it's already, like I said, top of the third. So I'll be back at the end of the fourth and let you know what's going on. Okay? Be back soon. Okay, I'm back. The uh, top of the, th well, the top of the third inning, the Dodgers scored three runs um, on Steven Matz. They hit mostly his off-speed stuff, I think. And they scored three runs. Okay, and so then he settled down in the fourth inning. The bottom of the of the fourth inning, Daniel Murphy hit another home run off Kershaw, so it was now it's three to one. Okay, but Kershaw is looking other than that home run, he's looking good. Again, David Wright is still pulling the ball, it's still not going to right field, which I think is a mistake on his part. I don't know if you got to you got to go to right go to right field. Settle. It's like Dan, David Wright is pulling everything. Okay, so. I'm just, you know, hoping they can scratch out, you know, get two more runs. Attack. Mats can keep it here. But Terry Collins, they interviewed him on the sideline. He said that Matt's limit is about 100 pitches. And I think he's up to 50-something. 
So hopefully he can have some quick innings because it's the uh, top of the fifth. So hopefully he can pitch at least two more innings before they bring in the bullpen. I saw Cologne warming up, and I saw oh that awful Eric Goodall. Do not bring him in this game, Terry Collins. Okay, do not bring him in this game. Okay, you can't afford to get up any more runs. You got to keep the score where it is. And hope you can scratch out some more runs, and hopefully maybe Kershaw will get taken out after a while, and maybe you can scratch some runs off the Dodgers bullpen. Okay, or maybe scratch some more runs off Kershaw. Okay, but do not in any service and bring in Eric Adal. Okay, so let's get back. Hopefully, like I said, Matt can keep it where it is, and maybe he can. Pitch, pitch at least two more innings, the fifth and the sixth, maybe the seventh, if he has some quick innings. Okay, it seems like he's getting a lot of high counts, though. And like I said, it seems like they're hitting his off-speed stuff as well. So hopefully he can settle down. And after that third inning, he's settled down in the fourth. So hopefully he can have pitch two more innings, maybe three if he's has some quick innings. So I'll be back at the end of the sixth, okay? Okay, the bottom of the sixth. Is over. Steven Matz, they only let him pitch four innings, actually, not five. They pinch it with Kadire, and he looks silly. Kershaw uh, made him look silly. Uh, and the Mets are just not hitting. Dan, uh, they only had two hits, really. Uh, Daniel Murphy's home run and and uh, Juan Lagares' uh, single. Okay, everybody else, and David Wright is looking lost at the plate. I mean, he's not, you know, Clayton. Kershaw's pitching him inside, and like I said, David Wright should, I keep doing it to myself, he should be trying to hit the ball to right field instead of pulling everything, and he's just, you know, being made, so he, and, and Kershaw just made him look silly with a curveball, one of those big looping curveballs with two strikes, and David Wright knew it and walked away, and Cologne pitched the sixth inning, actually, actually, no, Cologne pitched it, they had the fifth inning, I'm sorry, and they had what you call it up. They had, uh, I'm sorry, they had what you call it up in the bullpen, DeGrom. Okay. Uh, but Cologne, they had him pitch. Uh, actually, no, I'm sorry. They had what you call pitch five innings. I'm sorry. He pitched five innings. Uh, yeah, and then they pitched it for him at the bottom of the pick. I'm sorry. Uh, Stephen Matz pitched five innings, and then Cologne pitched the top of the uh, six and you know, got two strikeouts, but um, the ground was warming up, and they said there was the announcers were saying that that Terry did talk to him and said he he might use the ground to keep the game close. You know, to keep this, the game score right now again is three to one, and but Kershaw looked like he's dealing. I think he just has like about 80 pitches, I think, and he looked like he's dealing. So I don't think Matt Malley's going to take him out unless he runs into trouble. Okay, but he looks like he's dealing and he's settled in. And so I don't know if the Mets, you know, because Lucas Duda looks completely lost. I mean, he really looks lost, striking out. It just, just really lost. So I don't know. If the Mets can, I don't know, bun or do something because, you know, and I, I still think Terry Collison they made a big mistake. I know Conforto was a rookie, but Conforto is a is a pure hitter, okay. And maybe you should let him pinch hit instead of pinch hitting with. Kadai, because Kadai just looks lost. Okay, he just looks lost in terms of hitting in this series. He looked completely lost. Kershaw just overmatched him with a with a breaking ball at the end. He made him look silly. But anyway, uh, I'll be back at the bottom of the eighth and see and see if Cologne's going to start the uh, uh, seventh because I think I don't know if uh, Adrian Gonzalez is picked, is going to hit in that inning where he hits in the batting order because what you call it looks. Um, because he owns Cologne, they said, so he may not pitch the six. They may bring in somebody else, so we'll see who we, they bring in. Cologne just might pitch that inning, and they may they'll make the, the Rom come in and pitch the seventh and the eighth or, or something, just to see. We'll see who they bring in. They had Goodall up earlier, but please don't put him in, because he was, like, throwing bat practice last night. Okay, I'll be back at the uh, uh, bottom of the eighth. Hopefully we can get some runs, you know, scratch out some runs or something, because, like I said, Kershaw was looking tough. Okay, uh, let's go Mets. Uh, bottom of the eighth, just over. The Mets had a shot. Chris Granderson walked, David Wright walked, and Murphy worked a full count. Then he he got a good swing, but he just hit flied out to to right field. Uh, that in my heart just went up. 
I was praying Murphy just get a single, even just a single, even or just a double, could score two runs and tie this game up. I wasn't thinking home run. I was just thinking, ugh, damn. Well, we got one last shot at it. And they got their reliever and they brought him in after the guy walked the first two hit. And uh, David Ray had a good at bat. And he walked, worked out a walk. And now uh, it's going to be a Cespedes, I think, Dar Darno and Lucas Duda in the bottom of the ninth. Just, that's the, the last shot to tie this game up. Or, oh, damn. I thought that was. The crowd's going nuts, but damn, I, I can't even be mad at Murphy because Murphy's come through it. Just damn it. Okay, we got one more shot. Let's just, okay, just hold the lead. And then we got Cespedes, like I said, Darno, and Lucas Duda. So, and it's a different picture, so maybe. Maybe they can do something because it's a different pitcher now. The closer, Dodger closer. It's not Kershaw, so maybe they can do something. Uh, hold the faith. You got three more chances. Okay, I'll, I'll be back at the bottom of the night and let you know how it went. Well, it's over. We lost three to one. Two strikeouts and a flyout. Just uh, disappointing. What can you say? Kershaw was just dealing today. He had eight Ks. Just gave up the home run to Murphy and I think one other hit. I, th I think two other hits, but he was just dealing today. And the Mets just couldn't do anything. Lucas Duda is just a strike machine. He's just striking out left and right. I don't know if, well, I guess to Rich, to your uh, comic, will probably go down with him because you do have a righty grinky uh, pitching on Thursday. So. Uh, and you got to start Conferto. Start Conferto in, in LA. He had a home run the last time off him. Start him. And just, you just got to gather it up and suck it up. And like it's going to be all hands on deck. And Wetchcott was warming up DeGrom, but he didn't pitch, get in the game, thankfully. So it'll be him and, and Granke in game five and for all the marbles. So, hey, just, just go out there and do your best. Okay? And hopefully you can score some more runs. You know, Kershaw, you, you're facing a great pitcher. You're going to face another great pitcher, Granky, on Thursday. But you got to score some runs. Okay, just, and like I said, David Wright, like I said, is uppercutting everything. Like my friend said, he's uppercutting everything. He's just really, I don't know, he's got to work on the, with the hitting coach to to, to try to set, set of trying to pull everything, try to go to more right field, left, right field, you know, left, you know, right you know, left center, that's, that's David's, you know, that's, you know, where he gets most of his hits, and that's where his power is, too, a lot, so, you know, you have to, again, you have to tip your cap to um, Clayton Kershaw, you know, all the pressure was on the Dodgers in, in that game, and the pressure's still going to be on them, really, when, on them, too, but it's going to be equally on the Mets, as well, on on Thursday, so they got to, you know, buckle buckle down and and try to, you know, and close this out. In LA, I know it's good crowds would be nut in, in LA, but you gotta score some runs, okay? Like I said, I'm hoping Duda and Duda and Wright start hitting because Wright is right. I think Wright's just one first, whatever. And Lucas Duda has about 15 strikeouts, I think. No, not about 15, I think maybe about 13 or something. He just has a ridiculous amount of strikeouts. Yeah, he's just really picked the wrong time to slump, okay? So hopefully, maybe he can get out of it. On Thursday, hopefully he breaks out of it because I think the Mets will win if Lucas Duda has a good game, and hopefully David Wright can get a few hits because he's just oh, looking bad. And like I say, you have to tip cap, cap to Kershaw; he pitched good, and Stephen Max didn't pitch that bad. Like, he had the one bad inning where he gave up the runs since the three runs, but you know he was facing a great pitcher, and that's enough. Sometimes you get with those three runs. The Mets had a, sh a couple of shots, and the eighth inning was their best shot. You know, for runners on first and second, and Danny Murphy at the at the plate, and he just just fly out to right. You know, out there's nobody else I would rather be up than Murph. Anyway, Murph or you know Murph in the Mets line right now, Murph or Grandison, because like I said, Wright is just struggling, and and you know, he, but the place would have went nuts if Cespedes was up with the 
you know, I wasn't asked to be greedy. I was trying not to think home run when Murphy was up. Just think maybe get a base hit or double. But he flat out. I can't be mad at Murph because Murph's been been carrying the team, and he's the only offense tonight with the one home run. Anyway, well, let's buckle down and turn the page. And Fridays is do or die. You just have to go out there and win it on the road. The Mets play good on the road this year, so let's do it. Okay, let's go Mets. I'm not gonna be depressed or anything. Just let's go Mets. We had a shot here. We could have won it in City Field. You know, it would have been nice. But as long as we win and move advance to the next round, I'll be perfectly satisfied. I don't care if we have to do it in L.A. Okay, we'll do it in L.A. Okay, just okay. I just hoping Lucas Duda and Wright snap out of it. Okay, so okay, I'll see you again for my video diary for number five for the final game. You know, do or die. Okay. So, it's Trey Pass saying so long and take care.